beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Hallelujah. Let's keep praying powerful words, transforming words. Lord, there are more possibilities in you. And I open my heart, even as your servant has shared, my heart is open for more. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's bless the Lord for it, Jimmy. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. You see, let me tell you something about spiritual growth. The one who seeks growth does not choose his diet. Are you getting what I'm saying? It is arrogance to want to rise to a dimension. And then want to choose what you want to eat. Have you seen parents force children? The child says, I want sweet. The mother says, you need pap. You see, let me tell you something. Um, while I sat down listening to him share these things, I was only hoping, hoping that we don't get familiar and just recite it back, but truly believe it. It's painful to have revelation that does not transcend into results in your life. It's frustrating. Because no man can correct you. You already know what you need. But the grace to make it work. This issue of transformation. You've, you've seen us drum this thing again and again. You know, I was almost honestly, it's just, I'm just up here to lead us to pray. Because for me, I think that this you will never hear it enough. It didn't take two services for you to get the wrong ideologies that are fighting your destiny. It will not take just a sermon. It will take repetition of new ideas. Repetition. 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 I was just thinking while on my way coming, I was saying, oh God, I pray that whatever is being shared before your people, they would listen. They would believe. Please hear me. The person who ever makes you think what you are being taught here is a small issue has cheated you in your small way. Not even an armed robber has cheated you that way. If you steal my money or you steal wallet or hack my account, you've not done anything to me. But if you make me think in a certain way, and navigate my life towards destruction. You really have destroyed me. Are we together? People have lost their legs. People lost cars. People lost houses. They lost businesses. But something active within them. Reproduce those possibilities again. But let me tell you the truth. You can have everything. 
but a bankrupt mentality and you will move no further than you are there I like you to pray in one minute and say Lord this mind thing I will give it no rest till I am radically transformed please pray never trivialize it this is the key don't wait to listen to this message after 10 years of misery 10 years of trying guessing brothers and sisters i tell you the truth this is how it works it is the key Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for. Affect my life, breathe on me. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Let me tell you what is happening to many of us. You are sitting in a destiny time bomb. You know how someone sits in a time bomb? When you keep pumping a balloon, a time comes it cannot contain itself. The air you are putting in is too much for that space. And it will tear open. The sons of the prophet told the prophet, he said, where we meet with you is too small. You have enlarged our capacity beyond this level. Very soon, your level will start rejecting you. Something you are receiving, listen, is creating a reaction. You will not pray for it again. Something about your current level will start pushing you. Let me tell you how the pushing will come. It will come through criticism. Those around you can no longer stand it. They say, no, no, no. I'm, I'm pretending it, but now I can't take it again. new opportunities certain things will have to stretch and push you you are sitting on a time bomb and let me tell you something many of you will be remarkably shocked i get i get text messages from people who once had the privilege to be in this environment and be changed they call me all the time saying how can i thank you thank god i paid attention to this truth when you are lost, it is wise to listen to someone who has found his way. You see, most people do not even know what they need to succeed, but they will argue when they are given the keys. It's pride. It truly is pride. Let me show you a scripture. Acts chapter 13, verse 41. What a Jimmy shared just, it touched me. As though it wasn't me who preached it. 1341, please. You want to receive maximally from Koinonia, be a child. Be a child. This big manism, man of Godism, throw it out before you come in. Be a child. When you are humble enough to be mentored and to be shown the way, your life will rise like an edifice. It says, behold, despise us wander and perish he says for I will walk a walk in your days a walk which ye, which ye shall in no wise believe though a man declare it unto you I am doing something in a man's life like a trophy and he said a time will come I will walk a walk that when people hear that is the same you Aaron they will say no no which Aaron Aaron that I know they said is Saul also one of the prophets when Samuel was talking to him Saul did not argue he was listening because Samuel was representing his future listen 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 not everybody is where you are so they were once where you are find out what was done to rise not every key opens every door that you are holding a key does not mean it can open every door some of us have left certain doors but where you are now you have never been there before so listen pay attention the key you have opened the door you already passed but now you're in a new territory 
you are in a new environment you know while i was coming back from my meeting i was just praying i said oh god how predictable life can be when you allow the holy spirit to guide you the bible says the lord is my shepherd this is how i read it if the lord is my shepherd if the lord is my shepherd there is something about the leadership of the spirit that you are filled with the holy spirit does not mean you have allowed him to lead you if the lord is my shepherd then i shall not want he makes me he makes me he makes me he doesn't suggest he makes me to lie down in green pastures he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness and he does all of that for his namesake so people just see me in green pastures people see me restored but they don't know that there is a force but the issue is are you willing to be led there are many stubborn people who want to succeed you hear them venting arrogance flattering their mediocrity brothers and sisters let me tell you what you are receiving cheap like this was not received cheap a huge price was paid you can argue this but i guarantee you if it is kingdom impact you want after many years of confusion you will return back to the same road and god will say you would have followed it long before now but now that you've gone around by yourself a journey of 40 days can become 40 years depending on your willingness to let god lead you it was never in god's mind for the journey from egypt to the land flowing with milk and honey to be 40 years there are many people who are adding trouble on trouble every time you disobey the voice of god you multiply your pain every time you disobey the voice of god you multiply sorrow upon your life listen i'm i'm talking to you from the depth of my heart please don't argue with the things you are receiving here it is foolishness you see me talking my heart out because i do not want us to fail when your christian experience does not have the kind of result it has it's not only god men will curse you jesus looked at the fig tree expected that within this time range certain things should happen in your life and the painful part is most of our loved ones are depending on this this is what our parents ignored because the knowledge was not scarce they ignored it and we paid the price of their ignorance and if you ignore it you are transferring the same thing to a generation are we together now it's very important i will walk a walk in your days you know years ago the lord told me something the training that the lord took me through was so stringent and painful and i remember one time i said god why are you doing this to me and he said listen there are different vessels there is the clay there is the wood there is the silver there is the gold do you know the clay can choose how much it will be transformed you can actually tell god stop here and peg the limit of your impact but for me please don't stop please don't stop till i look just like you please don't stop please don't stop till i look just like you god is doing something powerful in my life god is doing something mighty in my life and he won't stop he won't stop till i look just like him he won't stop he won't stop Till I shine just like him. Listen. If you ever want to walk in the anointing, this is it. If you ever want a life of solid impact, you want to tame life as if the devil does not exist, this is the key. The predictability that God's word brings to our life. 
nobody successful was born successful. Even if he inherited it, he was trained to receive it. Nobody successful was born successful. Prayer point number one. We are praying. Father, make my life a sign and a wonder. I will not interrupt you. Don't let the pain, don't let the painful experience make me stop you. Regardless of what I say, focus on my spirit. My flesh may be willing. Are we together? Lift your voice and pray. through Joshua Selman I will walk a walk through Koinonia in and through my life hallelujah Please give us Job 29 again. Let's, let's go back to the scripture that Ejimi shared. Powerful scripture. Job 29. Please hurry up media. Give us from verse 3. 3. Let's read down to 6. Just 3 verses. From verse 3. When his candle shined upon my head and when by his light I walked through darkness. Verse 4. The result. As I was in the days of my youth when the secret of the Lord was upon my tabernacle. Uh -huh. When the Almighty was with me and when my children were round about me. Look at the results. When I washed my steps with butter and the rock poured out rivers of oil. Read on. Continue. Now this is what I'm looking for. Write down maybe to verse 10. When I went out to the gate through the city and I prepared my seat in the street. Uh -huh. The young men saw me. And there was a reaction. What was the reaction? How can a man see another man and hide? The Bible said the nation shall see you and fear. There is a level you celebrate a man to a point you become afraid. You are like, no, no, no. This, this one is not, I'm no longer clapping. It says the young men saw me. They hid. The only person you do this to is God. A man can become like God. The Bible says they saw Paul and Barnabas and they said these Zeus and Hermes. Or they had to tear their clothes and say we are human beings. What is it that God can do to a man that can make a man become like God? That your words become like God. Men have to advise themselves not to worship you because your life becomes so notable and extraordinary. He says the aged saw me a young man when an elder stands up listen listen when an elder stands up before a young man is a symbol of honor an elder stand up the glory of the old is their gray hair but there is something a man can do that can make his father stand up and he said no daddy sit down he said me no not when you are here Kabarata. Please hear me. There is such a thing as honor based on your grasping of the laws of the kingdom. That the aged can see you. You are young, but wisdom has made you old. Nine. The princes, you know the condition to be a prince? Trained in the palace trained in the art of royalty he said the princes refrain talking they laid their hands on their mouth this is not what they did this is what they did what they want one more verse the nobles had their peace and their tongue cleaved to they are still arguing with you because your results are not notable so when you say they say let's look at another angle there is a dimension of the workings of the spirit through a man that will silence every accuser no matter how arrogant they are when you are anointed rich blessed influential 
let me see the devil that will argue with you listen the bible says and job is one thing to be rich and not be anointed they can mock you with the anointing it's another thing to be anointed and broke the rich can bless you but when god decides to fortify the dimensions of your life with honor no nation can come from any dimension Turn me into a sign and a wonder. Lift your voice and pray. 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 Turn and a wonder. Tatalato satabayada. A spiritual system that brings glory perpetually. Make sure you are praying. Turn me into a sign and a wonder. God's portrait of wisdom. God's portrait of grace. Shabababa Turn me into a sign and a wonder. Hallelujah. Galatians 1, verse 24. Galatians 1, verse 24. Listen. I want you to know that God is only glorified when the saints are glorified. I was seated here. And I saw a Jimmy's wife moving, beautifully dressed. That's the glory of the husband. So you measure the responsibility and the honor of a husband by the reflection of his wife. Are we together? I want you to read that scripture wholeheartedly. One to read. One more time. Who was ultimately glorified? But who was the vessel? they glorified God when they saw the wisdom they saw the excellence when people said ah nobody can rise and then you rise as if the devil does not exist perpetually smashing records that men say this cannot be done and you say no I don't know who the this is but the Bible says with God without him many things are not possible but with God and they glorified God I like you to pray and say, Lord, use me as a tool, as a trophy for your glory. Lift your voice and pray. I glorified God in Koinonia. And they glorified God. And they glorified God. But the result that flowed from your life, but the result, the track record of unending wonder upon another sabarada katabarada baba baba ba rekata lekata baba baba ba shaparoto sotobash embrekata reto sotekene baba baba glorified god in me in me sound and a wonder hallelujah 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 and they glorified god in me away with that that rubbish thinking that god is not glorified when you rise no and they glorified god in me first corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 this is our next prayer point first corinthians 2 14 God did something 
a few days ago in my life. It brought tears out of my eyes. See, eh? Brothers and sisters, I want you to hear me, Koinonia. If you walk with God, you will never be ashamed. If, listen, if you choose to be spiritual and you are not ashamed. See, I tell you, this man you see has gone. Believe me, this man you see has gone. I know what I'm saying. You don't hear me speak like this. There is, there is what God can do in your life. You know this flight has taken never to come down again forever. It says, but the natural man received not the things of the spirit of God. For they are what? They are what? Another word for foolishness is nonsense. Neither can he know them. Because you must be spiritual to discern it. Listen, the things we do here are not intellectual at all. We break them down to give you the logic. But you have to be spiritual to walk with God. Many believers are too carnal to receive results. Are we together? We analyze spiritual things from a carnal point. Is it really true that by changing your mind, you ch no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You have to be spiritual. And you have to be spiritually minded. The Bible says, um, it says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, right? Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Then it says, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had set me free from the law of sin and death. Then he now says what the law could not do in that it was weak in the flesh and all of that. He says to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. There are too many believers that are carnal. Carnality is not just talking about fornication and drunkenness. No. Carnality is when you become so sensual that spiritual things look like a mockery to your intelligence. You are carnal. Go around Jericho seven times. I know what many of us would have done. Moses, stretch your rod. You say, no, no, no. We have building engineers. You didn't go to school for nothing. Let's begin to build a bridge and have donation let me tell you those who will survive in these times are those who i know you are educated and you are intelligent but brothers and sisters you must be spiritually minded this issue of saying no let's let's be serious let's be real let's be real if any man must ask me out let's be real i don't talk too much so i have to do facebook connection and and whatsapp and the rest to be carnally minded is there. Bring all your tithes, all these pastors, they just eat people's money. No, 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 sir. There are many people who are doing things that they don't really believe. It's not a conviction. They will only do it when everybody is around. But how you know you are spiritual is when you can do a thing supervised or not. Whether or not someone is watching you, you are tithing. Whether or not someone is watching you, you are tithing. See, let me tell you, there's too much hypocrisy. That's why people don't get results. Believe what I'm telling you. Are we together? Listen to a message and transform your mind. Okay, sir. But you don't believe it. You don't believe it. And it never happens for people. Are we together? Wrong music, polluted music can plant seeds in your mind. Okay, sir, but we never do it. And so we junk all kinds of things in our spirits and wonder why the outcome is not. Let me tell you, those who get results are those who walk this thing genuinely under God. I'm not talking of perfection. I'm talking of sincerity and diligence. He said, now that you know these things, happy are ye if you do them. Are we together? I'd like us to pray. And you're going to say, Lord, this is my, 
this my scientific over exaggerated um, um, analyzing your ways I want to I, I want listen listen God says I'm going to bless you but then we, we have to pass God through our scientific system oh God show me how it will happen God my God Have you not learned in the Bible that it was foolish things that brought extraordinary results? That's why Jesus said, until you become like one of these little children. I'm telling you, many of us need to pray for grace to become like children. This adulthood has punished many of us. We are not malleable before God. We can't be children enough to receive. Every time the word of God comes, it meets a wall of arrogant argument. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, spiritualize my mentality. I'm, I'm tired of being carnal. Lift your voice and pray. Make me a spiritual man. Let me believe your word. Please make sure you are praying. If you simply anointing, then I believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be spiritually minded. Be spiritually minded. Be spiritually minded. Don't talk like a fool. There are people when you hear the way they speak, it's as if they don't know God. You speak like a Christian and go back and analyze things with utmost stupidity. We are talking about God here. The currency in heaven is the word of God. If I give you 1,000, hear me. If I give you 1,000 naira, I say, go and buy me something. You buy it. In heaven, God gives you his word and say, go and exchange it. And the Bible says, let it be done on earth. So go to heavenly currency. Take it and you are saying, Lord, I, I know, no. Will it work? The power that created the heavens. His word is if I give you this, I didn't speak, but you take it to a shop. Expecting a result. He says, so shall it be. My word that goeth forth. When I give you, when you say, Lord, bless me, he gives you his word. He says, if you take this word and believe it, take it and you will truly cash it. Listen, let me tell you. My Bible says, he upholds all things by the word of his power many people do not believe the word of god you see this man standing before you i have carried this word as my life it's not an instrument for preaching i have seen it and believed it verbatim unto death that's what has brought the results that you see the word of god stupid statements from the word of god i believe you oh god no 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 i will not argue with you i don't need to know how it will happen let understanding follow but my faith will believe now many of our parents have thrown the word of god to look for this if i give you the word of god and i give you money you will choose money how foolish how foolish the word of god creates realities please believe me when i tell you this a spiritual man is not a man that prays in tongues necessarily. A spiritual man is, a, is somebody who has submitted to the authority of the word of God to govern his life entirely. If God said it, Joshua Selman believes it. My goodness. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. This word created the heavens and the earth. My life is too small for it not to create it. This word, when you believe it quarter to shame, God will arise for you. This is what brought the anointing to my life. You see, let me tell you, many of us study the Bible so that we can quote scriptures and deceive ourselves. No, sir. When you open this thing and see things like, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me. This is Jesus speaking. The works that I have done, he shall also do. Do you really believe it?
He says, for by this faith, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand. You can understand through science. You understand through faith. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, everything you have spoken over my life, I believe. I don't know what made me doubt your word, but tonight I believe. Lift your voice and speak. Let but believe it. There is a blessedness of mockery. Let I cast away doubt. I cast away doubt. I'm a believer, a solid believer in a living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible is full of God's vow for your success. His vow. How many times did God swear by his name? By his name. He says your gates shall be continually open. That's what he said. Listen, many of ah, look, look, let me tell you. When, when you want to get results, please, I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stop running after men. I believe in destiny helpers, but it comes from above through men to you. It does not come from men. Every good and perfect gift comes from above, from above. I will lift up my eyes. Take the word of God. Lord, you said this. I can't be barren forever. Your word said this. They say I have no womb. That's what they said. They are practicing. Your word said that my children will surround my table. Listen, we are becoming fetish the more we ignore God's word. Believers are becoming fetish because they are looking for alternatives to God's word. Anything the word of God cannot do, I, I assure you, it will not be done. Are we together? Please take seriously what I'm saying. We really need to become spiritual men. Spiritual men are word addicts, not word quotas. Those who live by the word and even if they perish, that they perish with the word. And put her to shame, you will see God alive to come and defend you. Jeremiah 1.12. Please give us Jeremiah 1.12. If we can get amplified, that's great. Otherwise, just give us King James. We are praying. Please, media, help us. Let's hurry up. Jeremiah 1.12. I want us to read it together. One to read. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, aha, uh -huh, for I will what? Who will perform it? You are not the person performing it. So when God says, I will bless you, leave the dynamics to him. Your job is to believe him and find out how he, just find out what is your part of the deal. Hi. I show you a cheap route to results. Some of these results you see, let me tell you, I don't even know how it happens. All I know is God speaks. I am stupid enough to believe him. And I watch together with the congregation the wonder working power of God. Help me to believe you. Kill unbelief from my life. Lift your voice and pray. By now, if my faith were alive, I doubt you too much. Listen, listen, listen. Whatever makes you to ignore the word of God, let me be sincere with you, is destroying your destiny. 
Are we together? If you do not know what God has said, then you don't know how to commit him. God is only committed by his word, not your tears. He's moved by your tears, but he's committed by his word. Number three, 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. We'll pray this and two more prayer points and we're done. But I want you to pray. These prayers will bring results in your life. i like us to read it. One, to read. Uh-huh. Oh, come on, read it as if you are alive. For a great door, an effectual, a door of marriage is open. A door of wealth is open, but it says there are many adversaries. And so what do you do? You don't discuss with them. You keep them where they belong. There is a warfare dimension of prayer. Listen, listen, listen. The warfare dimension of prayer is when you engage the spirit and you engage the world to establish victories. The warfare dimension of prayer is engaging the ministry of the spirit and engaging the power, the supremacy of the world to deliver result. You force compliance upon the strength of the world. So you pray. We are going to pray. There are forces sitting on the gates of our destiny and say you must end this year like last year. It's time to dislodge them. Open your mouth and prophesy. Come on, engage. Engage the weapons of our warfare. Canal. Koinoni, are you praying? A great door. A great door. Anointing a great business, nation. but there are many adversaries. I command every force to bow, I command every force to bow, prophesy. Come on, in the name of the Lord Jesus, destiny, the princes of darkness, I come against you by the mystery of the blood, by the mystery of the word, by the mystery of the spirit. Release my prosperity, release my blessing. Release access. Na barata kato shokete barada ba. Emprata shatata. Ekele koto shote kata. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. Hear me. Brothers and sisters, believe me. When I tell you there is no victory without warfare, anybody who lies to you, hear Joshua Selman say it. There is a place where you challenge gates. They are ancient gates. They stop your father. They will stop you if you let them. I like you to prophesy. Lend you. Lift your voice and pray. of men I challenge you Manipulation. 
manipulate By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, release my destiny. Shaka ta 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 ta, shaka ta 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 ta. Every take it, I must break a new level, a new dimension. Hallelujah. 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 Was you praying? Listen. Listen. I am a living witness that Satan can be tired. Are we together? I am a living witness. Breakthrough occurs when the powers that sit upon your destiny are dislodged. It's not by discussion. Hear me. Crying may help you, but it does not help your situation. Are we together? Listen. There is a law in the spirit called the law of insistence. There was a woman in Luke 18 who was pleading a case before an unjust judge. The Bible said he feared neither God nor man. But she said, revenge me my adversary. There are powers that have taken what belong to you. You are going to stand before the parliament of heaven and say, God, you are not an unjust God. I place a demand. I place a demand. Lift your voice. I place a demand. Judgment upon the wicked. I place a demand. Judgment upon the wicked. They killed my dreams. I demand judgment upon the wicked by the fiery first anger of God. I place a demand upon the justice system of heaven. There must be judgment upon the issues of my life. This large powers challenge thrones. Abarata badata dabakate, shakata kate, lakata prasoto barita, enkreto sose beretos, emprus kabarite seketea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. Do you know why many of us never get results? We give up too easily. We change prayer points foolishly. When you tell God this, you say, okay, God, I bring it down. Whether big or small, it will still take God to do it. Are we together? I'd like you to pray. You are going to force the door of the next level to open. Listen, no door opens by itself. You force it. Lodge your power. Let the door be open. Lift your voice and pray. Influence lifting doors of greater grace, doors of greater power, greater unction. Aparata tarikotos, rekete koto sekete. Pray, don't cut out. Pray, rabata kata tete. Embrace to shote kete. I command to the next level. I forcefully advance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. 
we have two more prayer points and for me this is the greatest prayer point we are about to pray this night now are we together the Lord spoke to me and said my people need divine direction many people are trapped because they don't know what to do confusion is the sign that a deceiver is in a place one of the indices of the presence of the spirit of God is absolute clarity of purpose Jeremiah 33 3, we are praying Lamb of God we worship you we worship Lamb of God. I worship you. Listen, one of the plots of hell, hear me. One of the plots of hell right now against the church is to manipulate every access for reception of direction. So that the saints are confused. Hear me, I'm speaking to you prophetically. One of the plots of hell is to manipulate every access that believers use to receive direction. Dreams, visions, prophecies, the understanding of the word of God. Are we together? Satan knows that your solution is in your direction. For listen, listen. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything? When I sent thee, I gave you direction. I told you to go to the lost ship of Israel. Very clearly, when I sent thee, lackest thou anything? We send ourselves, we guess our way, we guess businesses, we guess job, we guess husband, we guess wife, we guess whatever. See, let me tell you this. That's why I, we pray for being spiritually minded. We are going to open portals for fresh access to the voice of God. Do you know a man can be grounded for 10 years because he has not had... And, and let me tell you something with believers. God has brought us to a place where if we don't hear God, we don't move. And Satan said, wow, this is strategy. I can take advantage of it. Since a Jimmy is bent on hearing God before moving, let me close every door for clarity. Have you seen three people bringing a prophetic word to the same person? Three different things. They are sincere, but it's a plot of darkness. And you are confused. You want to go into agriculture. You had agriculture. The next day, someone sends a word and says, sorry, are you a Jimmy? I don't know you, but I'm hearing God say you should go into aviation. Now, the person called your name, he did not know you. And at the end of it, we are left in confusion. The devil is a liar. No matter how he will masquerade it, my Bible says, call unto me. Listen, I will not show, you can guess to see any nonsense that you are seeing something from the realm of the spirit. Do you know, let me tell you, including believers, you stand the chance of being manipulated. No matter how accurate you are in interpretation, Satan can take advantage of the laws of the spirit and manipulate your vision. He said, what seest thou? He said, an almond tree. He said, you have seen correctly. A man can see wrongly. It doesn't mean you are demonic. There are ladies that threw away their husbands because the devil manipulated them into believing that's not their husband. And they sent him away. Are we together? There are people who threw away destiny helpers. There are some people, the devil uses the face of good people to oppress them in dreams. Have you seen people like that? A brother that wants to marry you, then he comes with a horn in a dream and stabs you and you get up and meet a prophet and the devil manipulates the prophet and he says that brother has a spirit. Your destiny is closed because of manipulation. We, we laugh about it but it's a dangerous thing. People are in hot water right now. Various places all around. We are sincere. We seek the voice of God. So Satan sends voices. But the Bible says, call unto me. What is the promise? What is the promise? How will I show that I have answered? I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Lord, where is my job? 
where am I going to lo- relocate? I- I'm tired. Today I'm in Zaria. Next tomorrow I feel like going to Kano. I-, I just wanted to ask this lady out. In two weeks I've seen this one now. I'm confused. It's not straight. Lift your voice and cry. And say, Lord, clear this confusion in my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Clear this confusion. I call on to you. Give me clarity. I will not take a step until you speak. So speak, oh God, and let me know you are the one speaking. Hey, na 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 Call on to me and I will answer. Pray. Lord, I'm at my wit's end. I need direction. I need your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. My next level is tied to your voice. Is the Holy Ghost Spirit of the Living God? Yeah. It's the Holy Ghost, Scepter of the King of Kings. Yeah. Is the Holy Ghost? Seal of the age to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are praying. I know our time is gone, but please give me a few minutes. We have to flood this in out this night. The next prayer point is the grace to let the will of God be done in our lives. Listen, it's one thing for God to desire his will to be done. But are you willing to let him do it? He said, Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass over. Nevertheless, not my will. Let me tell you why many of us may never move forward. We come around a dimension. Our wills are so strong. We can never say, Lord, let your will be done. It is absolutely spiritual to say your will be done. Lord, I know left for me i want to be in lagos but every time you keep telling me kano i don't know anybody there i'm tired of arguing with you let your will be done it is spiritual to let the will of god be done lord i have vowed that i must marry a millionaire alone but right now as you are touching me let your will be done i've said if it's not shell i will not walk but I don't know your ways for me. But Lord, I say your will be done. Listen, if you pray this prayer with all your heart, you'll be surprised at the testimonies that will come. Lift your voice. Grace to let your will be done. Let me not be the barrier to my next level. Let my flesh not hinder me from rising. Let your will be done. No matter how painful, let your will be be done no matter how pleasant let your will be done i submit to your will i submit to your will i may not know what it is but i permit it to happen in my life let your will be done over my career pray let your will be done let your will be done Let your will be done. Psalms 23. Swallow your pride. Tonight, come to the school of the spirit. 
Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? A little here, a little there. Soon your day will dawn. He's out working you, changing everything. I like us to read the A part just before the semicolon. Are you ready? One, two, read. One more time. It didn't say the Lord is my escorter. Let me tell you something. The shepherd is the only one who knows where the food is. The sheep does not have that level of intelligence. Sheep does not have horn. It cannot fight. It's only defense is the presence of the shepherd. So he says, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. And then he says, I shall not want. The next line, verse 2, he naked me to lie down in what? Now, this is where these three words, he leadeth me. One more time, say it. Listen. There is a difference between guidance and leadership. You don't lead a man walking side by side by him. Uh -uh. You lead a man by setting the pace. How will you like God to precede you in everything? Including the doors that are closed. Let him walk to it first before you come. He leads me. For a man to lead you, you must have the submission to step back. And say, Lord, if I don't see you in front, I'm not going. I don't care how long that door is open. Listen. Many people ignore the leadership of the spirit. Number one leadership is what? His word. His bond towards your life. He leaded me. He led me. In this economic turmoil, you can guess your way around. You can just go ahead and start frying fish just because you think you want to eradicate poverty. And suffer frying fish because his hand is not dead. Are we together? You can stand up and start selling popcorn because everybody is selling popcorn, and your own is the one that will kill you and punish you because copying does not pay. People are led. People are led. Are we together? Everybody is entering a relationship. You just feel, I think I must enter. The day you enter a relationship is the day your life scatters into pieces because you are not led. There are too many people walking just based on instincts. There is a place for instincts. But I tell you, not in Nigeria today. Keep instincts aside. It may work in UK. It may work in Singapore. Nigeria's situation is a state of emergency. You must be led so that if you perish, you say, Lord, you said this. Let me tell you something. When you are challenged at the gate of destiny, your consolation and your support will be what God told you before you started the journey. So if he didn't tell you anything at that point, the devil will say, are you sure God told you? Every time Satan comes to people, he challenges the word of God. He told Eve, did God really say? He told Jesus, if you are the son of God, whereas God said, this is my beloved son. So when he comes to you, he will challenge the word of God. I'm giving us very solid prayer points that will produce results in your life. He leaded me. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, from tonight, I declare that I am the sheep of your pasture. Please lead me. I will not be a fellow shepherd with you. I am not, we are not two shepherds leading ourselves. You are the shepherd. I am the sheep. Pray in business. You are the shepherd, I am the sheep. In marriage, you are the shepherd, I am the sheep. In ministry, you are the shepherd, I am the sheep. In my academics, you are the shepherd, I am the sheep. Lead me, oh God. Lead me, oh God, to green pastures. Lead me, oh God.
divine direction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bishop Oyedeko, among the seven different mysteries that he's taught the winner's family worldwide that is responsible for their result is the mystery of divine guidance. Are we together? Yeah. And the Lord told him that if you are committed to follow, then I will keep leading. If you are committed to follow, so he can get into a forest and God will say like he will say, this is the place. And he said, yes, Lord. For many of us, science is leading us. So they tell you, ratio of three to one, or six to one. For every one man, there are six ladies. Science is leading you. Because of that, you are in a desperate search. You wake up in the night, you are on Facebook, you are on WhatsApp, looking for everybody who is your tribesman, looking for everybody who, who knows your father or mother. It is an occultic way. Of trying to get your destiny because you open yourself to spirits. Are we together? Some of us is statistics and reports that one out of every hundred graduates is guaranteed to get a job within the first two years of graduation. Now that statistics you can let it lead you and produce complacency and unseriousness. Another popular statistic. It takes six years for any business to at least be established. It may be true, but you have an advantage. Are we together? Divine guidance. Listen, you must make a commitment tonight to halt with everything you are currently doing that you have not heard the voice of God. I don't care what it is. One lady met me one time, happily smiling, that she's preparing for marriage. As soon as she spoke, my heart was heavy. God didn't tell me anything. My heart was heavy. I knew she was entering hellfire. How I was going to tell this lady now, she won't listen. Because you see, when we are stubborn over our own wills, God will step back. He's not a demon. And I told her, I said, my dear, I don't know who consulted with you, but there is serious trouble. This lady did not listen. Just driving ahead like, like, like a, a, a train without brake. That was how she went. And the next thing, when she got married, I think it was like four months, she found out that the man who married her was actually married somewhere. An irresponsible and a stupid man. He came down, cornered her head, deceived her parents, lied over things he was not doing. Lied about different things. Lied about qualifications. Lied about where and where he had worked. And so on and so forth. And deceived this lady. She sent me a text again. God is my witness. I'm sorry to have to say it publicly. I didn't even reply because I didn't know what to reply. Sometimes, let me tell you, don't say some things are better prevented than corrected. The correction will bring an eternal scar that you cannot claim. This is the word of God probably for somebody. All this rat race of doing it in the strength of the flesh. Why don't you depend on God? Are we together? You see the funny things Christians do for marriage, for money, for relevance. After praying in tongues, eight hours, ten hours, dry fasting, we, we mock ourselves. Please, listen, let me tell you. If you are for God, stand for Him. If you are not for God, stand for whatever you are standing for. If God cannot open a door, trying to open that door is a big frustration and it's foolishness. The door will open. That's the danger. But not by God. And it will destroy you and kill you. Divine direction. We need it in Nigeria. Many people are flying out of Abuja simply because there's no national cake again. The question is who told them to come here? And who is asking them to go now? Are we together? You may be running to a place you think is safety, but that's where the devil is waiting for you. And he will honor you dear and destroy your life. You've had strange testimonies of divine direction. God said this. God directed me through his word. God said take three days prayer and fasting. Say no, this can't be God. God forbid. 
God, God, you know, laziness. God said, for one week, wake up by one o'clock every night and pray. But slumber, you snore away the key to your next level. That's why I told us, look, we have to be spiritual. Little instructions we used to obey before. Now we throw it away because of science. Now, that doesn't mean you get up and do stupid things. No. The spirit of God does not make you do stupid things. They may not make physical sense, but there will be a spiritual logic and the presence of God and the honor that it brings must be upon it. Instructions. The next, the key to your next level is in simple instructions. Do you know God can give you a simple instruction? After the service, just come and greet Sam. Lord, why should I greet him? You just come and greet him. At the point you are greeting him, you will stand close to somebody who is saying, there is a job employment, divine direction. And immediately you will apply and God will wipe your tears. God gave me an instruction last, I think last week. Just one, two, three, four. And I mean, that thing has, I would probably say has changed my life forever. Just a simple instruction. It's not in trying. It's not in hustling. It's in the word of the Lord. It's in the voice of God. Do you treasure his voice? One last prayer. And then we are going to round up. One last prayer. I believe in the anointing. Listen, I don't know how to tell you this thing. For every dimension of spiritual possibility, there is a grace that takes men there. Say there is a grace. Say it, there is a grace. There is a dimension of the anointing responsible for every result. You are going to cry before the God of heaven and say, Lord, the dimension of grace needed for this testimony I'm looking for it land upon my life. Lift your voice and pray. Don't be tired. We've just prayed for a few minutes. Pray. Lord, I need a breakthrough. But I realize that there is a level of unction that is responsible to deliver this kind of result. in you Jesus I have confidence in you every time at any day I have confidence in you Savior I have confidence in you Jesus 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 I have confidence in you Savior Savior You're my master Master Jesus Hallelujah we're rounding up. He will not suffer my foot to be everywhere, everywhere. I may be a mortal man. But let me get extraordinary results. Aparato sobare te shebare kala. Empro se kaparada bala da 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 da. 
we may be mortal men but embrace us with extraordinary results suffer my food. I prophesy to someone here you will not see shame this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ listen I speak to you from the depth of my spirit every orchestration to bring shame and a mockery to the name of God upon your life I declare that by a wisdom you yourself cannot explain may my God turn it around may my God turn it around may my God turn it around I pray for you every confusion at this level of your life we bring it under the wisdom of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ any man who has said let us see may they see in the name of Jesus Christ zeal is not enough to cause miracles and transformation it takes an ability the Bible says with God Without God, many things are, pos are impossible. But with God, in partnership with Him, His ability, His ability is working in us. Hallelujah. Let me tell you the truth. There are very impossible situations in this place tonight you watch everybody just standing there are people here at the terminal case of cancer there are people here trusting God for all kinds of miracles it is not it's not about logic and discussion there must be an ability that is bigger than man the best a man can have is compassion you can just have compassion and say if I had an ability I would have helped you but brothers and sisters, compassion is not enough to produce the miracle you want. It takes an ability. There are people who have traveled different states to come and take the fire and to take the anointing. It is it's more than, listen, listen, please, I want you to understand this. It's not about Joshua Selman. It's not about a man. If, if, if that is the scope of, of course, God will have to use a man, but I have again and again taught here that is really not about a man is anywhere the presence of God is allowed to find expression a man is only a conduit you saw me writing my prayer request my own prayer request as soon as I arrived because I'm only a passage point it doesn't embarrass me at all to know that there is one mightier than I I'm only a channel so every time we make our boast it's on the strength of an ability that is bigger than us when you hear testimonies of lives changed and miracles happen to people believe me it's not the intelligence of men it's not just the ability to make this and that no no no, no. when he steps in he will make everything in that atmosphere to look like him hallelujah and tonight is no exception God will so visit you tonight in a way that will surprise you you will never never return back the same listen I want you to insist tonight that whatever you came with must leave you here tonight do you believe that 
So pray in one minute and say, Father, I know that there is a crowd here, but I'm alone here with you. I insist. Something about my life and destiny and ministry must change. This is the ninth month and the Bible says, as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to walk up to 20 people and tell them confidently you are in for a surprise. No, really, really mean what you are saying. You're in for a surprise. Like a dream, that genotype will change. Like a dream, that mountain will give way. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do more times. Lord, you do mighty Awesome is your name. One more time. Hey, you do mighty You do May the Lord bless you. Please be seated. God bless you, bless you, bless you in the name of Jesus. I want to especially appreciate all our visitors, people who have traveled far and near. Can we celebrate them, everyone? They are scattered around. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. We honor you for coming. You will never go back the same way in the name of Jesus. The number of visitors we have every week is increasingly becoming overwhelming i'm sure one day we'll travel to their region and hold one month of koinonia stretch yeah we'll do so so we'll just we'll just segment them regionally and then we'll come to the region and stamp every gate of hell and it must give way in the name of jesus hallelujah Truly, we appreciate you. Thank you and welcome to our September miracle service. The Lord will do us good in the name of Jesus Christ. I'll just challenge us very briefly and then we'll pray. Um, the Lord ministered to me particularly last week. We're going to have a special session where we pray for all our visitors. So if you're a visitor here and you came, we're going to pray for you. You're going to carry an anointing. You will carry... A strange glory of God even as you go back in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord I had been praying very seriously over the miracle service now as you know every one of our services um, uh, we carry it out under intense prayer we don't have any kind of tolerance whatsoever for religion see there is a way an activity keeps happening and at a point you lose the life in it because you are just trying to go through the motions and so every time we we take our time to stay in God's presence so that he will speak to us specifically for every season hallelujah praise the Lord and the Lord laid something very simple and profound in my heart that I think will set the pace for what he will be doing tonight and um, I want us to pay attention Hallelujah. Psalms 107, please.
Psalms 107. I'd like us to read just verse 1 together. If you're there, say amen. All right, let's read one to go. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endure it forever. One more time. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Um, if you have not listened to last week's teaching, I think it's very important. It was a word that the Lord gave me for the body of Christ while revivals fail. In that teaching, we discussed the reality of the humanity of man. That man, although divine, can be weak, can be tired, can be frustrated. And in it, we shared the spiritual strategy that is responsible for sustenance. When your humanity catches up with you and it looks like life is not delivering for you the kind of result it should deliver. There is a technology and a system in the spirit with which you will be able to rise above the limitations of the flesh. And so, um, I think it's important for us to listen to the message very carefully and God will bless us. Now, it is, it is part of our human nature. Please listen carefully. It is part of our human nature to desire the best in life to desire the best of everything you know we have all kinds of teachings and many of those teachings have come from this platform where we challenge mediocrity where we challenge an average life we spur people among other things into excellence that they excel in every area of their lives and so if at any point we see that you are underutilizing your potentials and you're not becoming all that god desires we challenge you to strive higher to rise higher um, and especially in our context of civilization there is this craving for more craving for more somehow we always believe that there is more is that not true no matter how great we accomplish things whether academically maritally spiritually something in us tells us there is more for instance thank god for the way he's honored the ministry thank god for the testimonies and the wonderful things he's doing within this region and around the nation and beyond the opportunity he's given us to contribute our quota towards kingdom advancement and uh, giving people an opportunity for encounters and transformation but then we know that there is more is that not so that as great as what we have seen is is only the beginning of greater yes we even sing songs like we're on our way to better days and so on and so forth but then um that kind of lifestyle also has a side effect and that's what i want to deal with very briefly um if we are not careful and we do not check balance it we can get to a point in our lives where perpetually there is a craving for more more money more reputation more prestige more anointing more grace more children for some more wives you know we want more more of everything even in our world today if you come up with a product after one year people want more is that not true you have to catch up with the pace there seems to be a desire every year we produce new cars so if you come up with uh, a brand this year in just 12 months people communicate their tiredness and they want the latest we call it in our generation the latest the latest of everything when you meet people you tell them what's the latest what's the latest fashion um, that is very important except for the fact that it can have a side effect and the side effect is that in an attempt to pursue more we many times fail to calm down and begin to take inventory of what God had done so far. You see, when you desire more, that hunger in you can push you to a point where 
you cannot even see what is do, what is happening at the current level because you are hoping for more are we together now so you are trusting god for a house of your own a three or four or five bedroom flat and sometimes you can so desire it that you may not even see a need to calm down and say but come to think of it at least i have a house i have somewhere to lay my head you can drive and you are trusting god you know for a master's degree a phd and all of that and sometimes you can forget to say ah at least i have the opportunity to be sponsored by someone to go to school are we together now and so the psalmist in an attempt to help us maximize the workings of god in our lives creates a pause and says oh give thanks to the lord he said for he is good and his mercy endures forever the revelation of the goodness of god and the fact that even in our mistakes even in our setbacks the mercy of god has the capacity to cover he said give him thanks for it because the bible says it is of the lord's mercy that we are not consumed when a ministry like this starts and after a few years, it is still standing and making impact is because of the goodness and the mercy of God. Are we together now? When a lady gets married and in nine months she can celebrate a child, her brother came and gave a testimony. At the beginning of the year, the loved ones were trusting God for a miracle. After 10 years and just submitting a prayer request, about nine months thereabout, they return with a testimony of twins. Now, it's easy to enjoy that and the man say, look, prepare for another one. We have to cover grounds. Ten years is not a joke. Praise the Lord. Sometimes we are caught up in, I call it a sin. The sin of ingratitude. The inability to pause through our various activities and reflect on the faithfulness and the mercy of God. I'm a very creative thinker. I think very, very intricately. I think in between the lines. And it has helped me as a person to periodically take inventory of my life. And while I began to seek God for this miracle service, there was one word that came from the Lord. And he said, tell my people, to take out time and thank me and communicate gratitude for what I have done for them so far. It may not look like much compared to what you want, but brothers and sisters, every one of us is here tonight because we are alive. If a dead body was seated close to you, it's only because you are alive that you can trust God for a life partner. It's only because you are alive that you can even trust God to heal you of cancer. Are we together? We can fall into that trap of forgetting the faithfulness of God. Lord, you did this for me today. Can't you do more? And we keep pushing at God and using every spiritual principle to tie down his hand. Lord, I gave my tithe. You should increase me. Lord, I did this. I sowed a seed for a husband. What is happening? I call him wherever he is from the realm of the spirit. Up here now, I must marry. And so on and so forth. And then we don't take our time to say, but Lord, I'm grateful. If you never do anything for me again, you don't owe me anything. I owe you thanks for the rest of my life. You passed a road where you saw them bringing out pieces of dead bodies. And at the point you passed the road, you were insulting somebody. Yet the mercy of God kept you. You would have been a cheap victim for the devil. It was never about our righteousness and holiness. Are we together now? You can get up in the morning and say, I'm going to do this and that. That is only a factor when you are alive. Listen, let me tell you something. God is so wise. He created life and made himself the ultimate custodian of life. If life were given to the hand of man to give another person, you would see the wickedness of men at its apex. And so God subjected every man, no matter how stubborn, to the law of life and death. 
so that no man will claim in his heart that there is no God. It was Pharaoh that got up and made a lot of noise and bragging about the nation of Israel. And in one night, God brought him to his knees. Listen, brothers and sisters, there are unseen battles that God has fought for us. Are we together? While we sleep, we just wake up in the morning and move around. He never gets to reveal to us the way that he has fought all kinds of battles for us. There are many of us by the plan of Satan. You are not supposed to see this month. It is a shock to the devil that you are still alive. Because according to the plan, everything should happen. And based on what Satan saw, there was nothing that would stop it. But they forgot about a factor called the mercy of God. At the point where hell had concluded, like it happened to Job in the heavens, that today, make sure this person does not return back. You return back and you were enjoying yourself and never thought to give him thanks. You know, people send me all kinds of text messages. Oh, apostle, you are this, you are that. Look at the mighty things God is doing. When I read those text messages, I just nod my head. I say, don't be mistaken. Don't let this body fool you. I'm a product of God's mercy. He trained me well enough to understand that if there is ever any reason for men to celebrate anything in my life is because of his mercy. I'm not embarrassed about it. I have mastered the art of taking advantage of the mercy and the goodness of God. Are we together now? Oh God, you can do this for me. Oh God, you can do this. We are a generation of complainers and grumblers. And our civilization has wired us that way. There is always a lust for more. Lord, you gave me a husband, but we are staying in a one-bedroom flat. And the Lord is saying, remember, the same person who was saying, Oh God, if you give me a husband, I will be grateful. Now you have a husband. Then he gives you two-bedroom flat and you say, Lord, we need another place where there are no neighbors. I'm, I'm allergic to noise. It's amazing. Listen. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, don't turn there. When you begin to read from verse 14 down to 18, the Bible says, let it not be that when you have built houses, when your crops are increased and etc, etc, he said that you tell yourself, my power and the might of my hand has given me this wealth. He said, but thou shalt remember. Meaning it is in our human nature to forget. I will not forget, Lord. Your benefits, how can I forget? How can I forget, Lord? Your benefits, we will never forget. We will not forget, Lord. Your benefits, I will never forget. I will not forget, Lord. Your benefits, one of the greatest secrets of my life it's not just prayer and fasting it's not just the word but i learned this from my father is one of the most priceless lessons i've learned from him my father is a grateful man i have never met a man in my life as grateful as my father and i checked the psalmist and i found out that what that was the key the bible called him a man after god's heart the psalmist knew how to touch God in an area where he would have to respond to him. Gratitude. The ability to pause in the business of life, in the business of wanting to be successful and say, Lord, I acknowledge you. You are the faithful one. And then to begin to remember the days when you were nothing and to remember how he took you there are people, for instance, who have graduated now. Remember how many times you had to write jam and write it again. And how many people looked at you at that point in your life and vowed that you would not become anything. And you had no right to explain to them. Because the truth is you were a victim of what they were saying. Yet in a mystery you cannot explain, the hand of the Lord took you. And brought you to a position where today you can stand and rejoice. And say I've written my last exam. How about many of us who are arguing. And insulting around for promotion. 
and we forget how that we kept running from pillar to post and by his majesty you were not praying you were not fasting you were not even expecting it god just opened a door and wiped the tears of our family our generation is a very ungrateful generation it is always easy to pick up the things that god has done and say yes lord but it's small do something major for me so that when i testify i will give you thanks and god is saying if you cannot thank me for my finger you will not see my hand and if you cannot recognize my hand you will not see all of me gratitude the ability to say lord i thank you there is a, listen 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 when you thank god you not only thank god because things are nice when you thank god because things are nice you are carnal you are sensory you are thanking god because of your sensory perception the bible says give thanks in all things for this is the will of god the will of god is that no situation in your life can stand your thanksgiving and your gratitude to god oh i remember i remember where he brought me from how could i forget there is no level of the accolades of men that will make me ever forget where god brought me from I look around and I see my colleagues and contemporaries and I look at many people and I see how much by his faithfulness he has granted me the privilege to go ahead to do so many things I talk to pastors and leaders and I see their frustration over ministry how they struggle they 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 try to get their messages free of charge for people but nothing works and yet we see the glory and the grace of God it's a reason to thank him it's a reason to thank him there was a time in my life i was diagnosed i've shared it with us fungal infection right there was no hospital i did not go to they checked around checked around did everything it was obvious my head was literally becoming rotten literally becoming rotten they banned me from going to the dining hall because they said I was irritating other students. And so I would stay behind. And when the students were about to go, I would beg somebody with a plate to please help me collect food. And sometimes in a bid to get their own, they forget my own. The mercy of God. The faithfulness of God. I walk around and I see people who are old enough to be my parents. Old enough to be... Um, 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 elderly people and they see me and you see good afternoon sir and i'm like ah please don't embarrass me don't embarrass me listen one of the keys to getting the hand of god upon your life and frustrating the counsel of satan is the recognition of everything god does gratitude is the key for more in the spirit you never are qualified to see more of God until you thank him generously Lord I'm collecting 100,000 are you not faithful can I not collect 200,000 and God is saying you go outside and stand in the street and watch people who will jump at 100 naira they will jump at 100 naira with gratitude with tears in their eyes they will come upon the altar and testify because somebody gave them a seed of 100 naira, And here you are holding 100,000. And saying, Lord, I thank you, but you can do something more. I choose to be a grateful person. I choose to recognize his faithfulness at all times. That you thank God. You weary Satan when you thank God. Because see, let me tell you something satan understands the principle of increase in the spirit that when a man can settle with god and thank god most of our prayers the thanksgiving we give before our prayers are only preambles to give us room so that we now start petitioning god so we come to god like this father thank you thank you i'm grateful what we're trying to do is oh god you directed us to come before you with thanksgiving i'm doing it be watching now you finish it quickly and say god let's settle down now this is what i have there are men who have walked this earth 
and they have mastered the art of holding the hands of God. Thanksgiving is like a magnet. Gratitude is like a magnet. God cannot resist gratitude. Sincere gratitude. Especially when what you are thanking God for is really not something that humanly speaking should warrant thanksgiving. There are people who pay attention to every detail. Every detail. Oh God did this. Lord I recognize it. Every time I do this specifically for miracle services. The moment I am done with miracle services I return back. The moment I get home one of the few things that I do either immediately or later is to go down on my knees and I'll just hold the chair and say Lord I thank you for proving yourself. I've seen men of God come on stage and say the power of God is going to move. 30 minutes later they are still speaking stories. Don't worry did you people fast today? The power of God is going to move just take it easy and all kinds of things. Yes he has honored us with his presence. Brothers and sisters as a family of faith we have reason to thank God. There are churches that love God but they have been victims of bomb blast. Never for once. We transport people every week from here to Congo to Shika around and we've not had any issue of a car capsiding and all kinds of things. We've had people here escape the hands of armed robbers. Is God speaking to us? I know you came with prayer requests. I came with mine too. I know that you came with sincere needs. But brothers and sisters, we are going to take a few minutes and thank his majesty. For many of you, just that thanksgiving will be the key to releasing your miracle. That the heavens will never open. You have not thanked God for what he did. You are not married, but at least you are in a relationship. A godly relationship with a brother whose head is correct and he loves God. That's a great blessing. Listen, never trivialize anything in your life that God has done. It will destroy you and it will keep you at that level. If nine things go wrong in your life, look for the one thing that is right. And say father i give you thanks the truth is there are nine things that are wrong in my life but for this one is undeniable i have seen your hand and god says you can thank me i see that you were bereaved you lost somebody in your house yet you are thanking god that it was not your whole family members that died and god will say such faith such faith see brothers and sisters when you see certain people stumble into repeated cycles of breakthrough there is something they have done it didn't just happen are we together when you see god focus on certain people and arise like a mighty warrior and visit them is because they have done something that has touched him it's more than sowing a seed it's more than money it's even more than praising and dancing praising and dancing are only expression gratitude is from the heart you use praise dance your seed and etc as an expression is god speaking to us i have learned the danger of refusing to thank god when god gives you a thing and you do not thank him that thing starts diminishing in your life I don't care what it is whatever you do not thank God for will start diminishing mysteriously from your life because it means that you do not qualify to have it I will not forget Lord your faithfulness how can I forget Lord hallelujah I remember we meet we meet once in a year as a family everybody comes from everywhere and we sit down on the first of January to just thank God for what he had done in the family and to speak into the year and every time all my father does for for more than 30 minutes we're going to thank God when it's his session to lead prayers we know that we're ready to sit there because he's going to mention everything 
and then he will pass the button to my mother and she will pick it up from there and you know women lord i thank you my son came all the way from zaria he even said he went to abuja the other time he went to this are you not faithful this is how my mother prays oh lord the other day was he not here in this house you did a miracle for us we thank you and all of us are quietly while growing up we did not understand we felt it was boredom you know these elderly people you are thanking god thanking god go straight to the point lord we thank you do this for us amen but the more you advance in life you will understand this ancient wisdom of parents that they spend time saying thank you like fools and while we young people are feeling bored they are saying it's because you've not they've gone through things in life that can eat them up and they have mastered the art of thanking god for everything it's one of the unbeatable secrets of longevity that you get up in the morning and say lord i thank you statistic tells us that eight people die per second eight people including christians including pastors there's a gentleman that sent me a text i don't know if his brother is in this place he will be coming out of prison in december i shared it with the leaders and he'll be coming here to testify he was a ruffian and a hooligan and his lifestyle got him into prison and he's been there i think for the past three years it was while he was in the prison he remembered that his younger brother or thereabout used to listen to my message and then he was able to get some of the messages they allowed him to have some of the messages he got born again he got serious with god he's even one of the people in the chapel the prison chapel and he said his time will be due by december and i don't know how he was able to get access to the phone to send text he said thank god for bringing me to this prison because it was that i used to hear my brother listen to koinonia messages and i would scorn him but in this place i found god when last did you thank god for all the mountains and the challenges in your life that have made you wiser and stronger and better and matured and a better leader when last did you thank god for all the gates you had to confront when you are a man of gratitude you frustrate satan because there is no way he can come the goal of satan's attack upon people is to bring them to a point where the faithfulness of god is questioned in their lives and through them to god so people say god where are you but when you get to a point where you say lord let me tell you in advance if nothing in my life ever moves forward i cannot stop thanking you when satan hears that is a nightmare because you have worried him you go to the hospital they check you and they say the bp is still there oh the bp in fact is even worse than it was the last time you say no problem lord i thank you because i'm alive i know that you gave me a word your bible your word says by your stripes i am healed you tested yourself ss or as and they say the marriage cannot hold and you go and check it again and you come out and you sing before god and you thank him do not get into this lifestyle that many people live i hate complainers it irritates me i i, I cannot i cannot i honestly cannot stand it when i stand around people who are naggy and complaining five minutes they are talking about something somebody somewhere i run away from those people because they have the ability to destroy my progress they are not bad people but they are violating a spiritual law for advancement and i intend to move forward so god helps you he gave you 10 naira to buy a tie and you leave the tie before god and say lord this is your faithfulness i never imagined i would get a shirt now you have added a tie for me he adds a tie clip and you say lord i just noticed that you added a tie clip and god said what sort of person are you you mean you are doing this to me let him have a greater supply and he gives you a shoe and you said lord who am i who am i i asked you for a palm sandals and you gave me a shoe i'm grateful and while you are saying that people will look at you and say you are thanking god for a tie and a palm sandals are you stupid what about the admission what about the job how long will you marry 
Or will you stay before you get married? You are 37, are you aware? You say, I'm aware of that. Keep that one aside. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the fact that I started a small shop and people are coming to eat. I know that my desire is that I will have a restaurant in the future. But for this small shop, two people came today and ate. As a pastor, you are crying and asking God for members. And seven people come. And you don't just yell your anger on all of them and shout at them. But you say, Lord, I thank you. Because these people who are coming are not yet members. These are my leaders. And so I will train them and I will be serious. My faithfulness with seven people will bring a crowd. I remember our first crusade. We were very few. A handful of people. God did great things, but we were very few. But I remember thanking the Lord for it. We could not even afford a video camera. But we thank God for it. Do you realize that for some of you, this is the word of the Lord to you tonight. You have allowed ingratitude. Listen, God knows we are humans. Brothers and sisters, I taught us last week. It is true that the vicissitudes of life have a way of pushing a man to a point where you are so overwhelmed. I know, I know that you need to pay the school fees of your children. I know that nobody sponsors you. I know that you have HIV and the antiretroviral drugs are beginning to fail. I know that the infirmity has remained there. I know that the devil has attacked your family. There are families here that have come from different places. They have come literally as whole families to come and cry before God. I understand. I will be a fool to deny the presence of that. We are humans. It's okay to be human. I taught us last week. It's okay to cry. It's okay to express your pain. But remember. Remember the things that he has done in your life. Not the things he has not done. If there is one testimony in your life. It's a sign that more are coming. If God gave you one testimony. Remember David. When he killed the lion and killed the bear when he stood before goliath he went to the archives of his testimonies and said the god who gave me the lion the god who gave me the bear that same god will deliver me that's how to confront challenges in life you look at your body and they tell you you have fibroid or ovarian cyst and it's increasing yes you are you are going through pains and you are bleeding but you say i remember there was a time I used to have a wound that would not heal. And the power of God healed it. The God who healed that will do the same for me. Please, I'm teaching you how to frustrate Satan. Don't let the devil have a toll on you. Don't let the devil mark you for ingratitude. When the devil marks you for ingratitude, he will keep orchestrating events in your life that will keep you angry, complaining do you know how many people die of high blood pressure and hypertension and all of those things are caused by frustration that you give god thanks god gives you a job while you are rejoicing they suddenly call you and say sorry something has happened um, we may not be able to take the people again and you've gone to testify in the house of god and you turn back and say lord you are faithful i give you praise Pastor Jakes always says he's a faithful God. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Your situation irrespective. He is good. Everybody say God is good. Say it. God is good. Look your challenges to the face and say God is good. Say my God is good. Yes, my God is good. My God is good. I don't know about yours, but my God is a good God. My God is a good God. I'll never forget one time when a car hit me many years ago. I ran to go and buy, was it Gary or Chinchin or something? And 10 naira was about to take my life. I think it was Gary or something. I wanted to hurriedly soak it and help myself in a bit to cross back the devil just orchestrated it because he knew that there are millions of lives that must be changed and blessed 
and he just came and the car it was i was i was in the middle of the road i didn't know what to do all i had was there was sound of a break and there was it was as if i was dreaming i just saw myself at the other side of the car and i had people shouting hold him hold him they said if they don't hold me i'll stand up and i'll be mad i just looked at them i looked at my garage i picked it i told them i said give me yes i said i'm fine i'm fine i'm okay that night my leg there was it it swelled up for days there was intense pain but god is my witness i said i have met death and i overcame that's why i don't fear death i've gone through too many things in my life i've slept on speaker i've slept on amplifier I've, I've, come on now Muimaka sujada muimaka 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 sujada muimaka muimaka ninaimaka sujada Lord I give you I give you I give you the highest praise I give you I give you, I give you the highest praise. I give you, I give you, I give you the highest praise. Very soon I'm going to give us room. About 10 minutes. And it's going to be exclusive expressions of gratitude. It's going to be you alone. I know you came for a miracle service. But father, mother, brother, sister, you're going to forget about whoever you came with. I don't know how you are going to express it, but I'll give us room shortly. You are going to begin to count your blessings and say, my God, was it not just last month I had an accident? I never gave you thanks for it. Lord, I'm, I'm grateful. I started small, but see what you have made out of my life. Lord, we started from two members and now we are 35. I thank you. I thank you. When a situation overwhelmed me, I did not know that morning will come, yet you have kept me. That it has become 20 years. I remember when they said I had a heart disease, for instance. Oh Lord, see what you have done in my life. They said people die in our village. They don't get to 20. Now I am 60 years. I give you thanks. Expressions of gratitude. We forget many times. We forget. We are asking God for more. Lord, do more for me. But you are alive. But you are healthy. You go to the hospital and see people hanging their legs. Hanging their legs for six months. And you hear them singing praises. Day and night with their legs hanging. If you can be grateful. Not just tonight if you make it a lifestyle i guarantee you there is no arsenal of hell against you that will prosper you will you will you will thank your way to the throne you will march through your challenges through thanksgiving until you get to the throne it's an unbeatable secret of greatness i thank god all the time i thank people all the time gratitude a simple but powerful secret that opens the heavens for a man hallelujah every everywhere that i go everything that i do i'll hear it yeah 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 that's my testimony I'll hear him sanana I'll hear him go by gejena Abba mama kide Yesu ya para je Help me sam
for the next 10 minutes you alone with your maker lift your voice and cry in whatever way you can and say my god i give you thanks my god i give you thanks go ahead you and your maker for the next 10 minutes for the next 10 minutes cry before him for the next 10 minutes that you have won only you alone are worthy lord we magnify your name thank you jesus protector redeemer provider defender announcer lifter sustainer we thank you we thank you that the council of darkness has not prevailed over your people we thank you for the miracles we thank you for signs for wonders for food for shelter we thank you for your faithfulness for exalting our heads like the horn of the unicorn we thank you for miracle jobs we thank you we thank you we thank you thank you for our families oh god you have been good oh god you have been good Three more minutes. Give him thanks. Three more minutes. us to thank God in one minute thank God in one minute for ENI and Koinonia I'd like us to thank God for the awesome things he's doing let's tell him we are grateful people for giving us a platform where the sick can be healed where lives can be transformed go ahead and thank him Lord we give you thanks
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We are grateful people. We are not ashamed to let the world see that you are the mysterious factor behind our advancement. We are not ashamed to declare to the world that you are our sustainer, defender, protector, our hope, our anchor. We have no other God. We have no other place. You alone, O God, deserve the glory. faithful you will command unprecedented levels of grace and the anointing if it ever embarrasses you to thank God then you will never see his glory if you are ever ashamed and so conscious of your reputation you are so conscious of your emoji man of God I'm a great this and that all those things are nonsense when you come before his presence you throw them aside say faithful God For the things you have done And the battles you have won Only you are worthy of our praise We magnify your name For the things you have done And the battles you have won Only you Magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. Psalms 107. I already sense the power of God. We'll just read this and go straight into the ministrations. Psalms 1. Oh, 07 we're going to read verse 6 and then we'll read 28 to 30 I want to show you another mystery two mysteries one is gratitude the second listen is a mystery I've seen this thing many times in the Bible I want you to read it one to read stop just the A part one more time It says, then they cried unto the Lord. There is a mystery when a man cries to the Lord. I used to think it meant just lifting your voice and be loud. Until God opened my eyes. Every time you see them say in their distress, they cried unto God. In their distress. Crying unto God is more than talking. Crying unto God first starts with a revelation. That Lord, if you don't help me in this issue, I am finished. It's a revelation. For as long as you have options, you will never see God arise in your life. Until you exhaust all your options. And you come to a point where you say, Lord, they gave me the drugs in the hospital. But I acknowledge that is crying unto God. That you say, Lord, you are my priority. If you don't give me a husband, I cannot get one. If you don't give me a job, there is no job for me. Crying to the Lord is more than just saying, Oh God, help me. Blind Bartimaeus cried. And this was his cry. Thou son of David, or not thou miracle worker. I know you. I know your power. Will you pass me by and leave me in my distress like this? I'm blind. God I've heard about you that you are the God who can wipe the tears of people I've heard about you 
that you are the one who makes the barren to sing. I've heard about you that you are the one who raised Job back. I've heard about you. It says they cried unto the Lord. Whenever you are in trouble, stop discussing. The key is to cry unto God. We have prayer requests here. Many of us are standing trusting God to touch us. The key tonight is to cry unto God. And the Bible says he delivered them out of their distresses. Verse 28. 28 very quickly. One more time. Let's read. One to read. Again, then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And what did he do? He bringeth them out of their distresses. Next verse. He maketh the storm a calm so that the waves thereof, the waves that are killing you, that looks like you will not survive. He says God has the ability. There is something he can tell that trouble. It must hear his voice. Next verse. He says then, as a result, they are glad because they be quiet. So he bringeth them where? Unto their desired heaven. Listen. God knows your intentions. God knows your desire. He has the ability to bring you to where? Your desired heaven. But the key, after gratitude, you are authorized to cry. To cry to the Lord is not an embarrassment. When you cry, you are saying, Oh God, let your goodness and your mercy speak. At this point, it's not because of what I have done. At this point is, if it is with my intellect, if it's with my money, if it's with my connection, I have failed. I cry to you in my distress. In the next one minute before I minister, we are going to cry to God. Listen, I told you crying to God is a revelation. A revelation that acknowledges him as your only source. Tonight you are going to say, Lord, you are the only one. You are the only one who can heal me. I know this. And tonight I cry to you. The Bible says he can calm the storm. He can calm the storm. Oh yes, he can. Lift your voice and cry to your maker. Thou son of David. Let your goodness and your mercy speak over me tonight. Pray. Lord, there is nothing new about my situation. You have done it before. The Bible is full of records of your faithfulness. How you parted the Red Sea before people. How overnight you turned the captivity of men and women. Pray, Lord, I don't know how you will do it, but I know you can do it. They cried unto the Lord in their trouble. He said, call upon me in the day of trouble. Cry to the Lord. My rent has expired. I'm not working. I have no idea. But I cry to you. I have multiple carryovers. I don't know what will happen to me. But I cry to you. Thou, O oh God, the lifter up of my head. The one who is able to change my story. I've not come to an idol. It is within your power to help me. Oh, thou Ebenezer, arise for me. You are my Ebenezer, the helper of man. God can help you. Listen to me. God can help you. God can help you. They cried unto the Lord in their distress. Cry unto the Lord and watch what he will do in your life. Don't give him options. Don't give him options. Lord, you are my only source. I cry to you. Pray. My only hope of entering into my desired heaven. Some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But we will trust in the name of our God. 
Lord, step in Do the impossible Do the impossible Lift your voice and sing inside and outside Lord, step in Do the impossible Come on, let your faith rise tonight. Lord, step in to the impossible. Lord, step in, Lord. To the one more time, Lord, step in, Lord, step in, step in, do the impossible, do the impossible, hallelujah, the Lord is healing a lady right now. Please check yourself and you just come out to testify before we continue. I'm seeing a lady. You came here with severe pain on your neck. Check it now. Check it now. The Lord is touching you. The Lord is touching you. I'm seeing an elderly man in this place. Um, you've been having pains towards the lower abdominal region. The Lord has just touched that man right now. He's an elderly man. I don't know where that person is. Please testify. Check yourself. And immediately you find out you are healed make your way to the front make your way to the front God is touching people right now I don't know who I'm seeing an ear God is touching someone's ear it's like I don't know if it's an ear issue but God is touching it right now God is touching it right now God is touching it right now please check yourself and make your way right now right now let's just have two or three of those people God is touching it right now right now doing a miracle for somebody um i'm seeing somebody that has i don't know if it's um i don't know what to call it but it's like a serious stomach issue it comes and hooks you literally you are gasping for breath when that happens to you it's like it literally holds you check yourself now you'll find out that the lord has touched you make your way to the front very quickly you can make your way right here Miracles are happening. Come on, give Jesus praise. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. God is touching people right now. Can you give Jesus praise? God is touching people. God is touching people right now. I'm seeing someone with an eye problem. You see like a black object. It comes and goes. It's like a, it's, it looks like a needle like a black object you'll be looking at people and then you will see it this has happened for a while but god has touched you right now who is that person make your way to the front right now i'm seeing someone's left leg outside in the overflow there is someone with a left leg issue left leg is like you came towards the, the, the uh, this area where i'm holding i'm seeing the power of god touch that area check it right now check it right now and confirm your healing and make your way to the front check it right now confirm your healing make your way to the front hallelujah have they checked themselves now? you've checked yourself okay so quickly we'll just take two or three you can turn please come up come up let them come up when you come you can stand please come up man come up sir go ahead just tell us quickly straight to the point praise the lord uh, i have an ear issue and it normally scratch me sometimes okay and i'm feeling better by completely God's grace give right jesus now. praise hallelujah give jesus praise it never returns to you in the name of jesus yes sir please let's celebrate jesus celebrate what he's doing awesome. 
Yes, for some years I have been experienced pain here. Pain at yes. the lower abdominal yes, region. Abdominal yes. yes, you know, I gave now, a word of knowledge yes. that there was somebody in lower abdominal region. And it's how, how better. about now? Exactly, it's better. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we declare that it is perfected. Wow, the power of God is coming on you. It's perfected right now. Never to return to you. In the name of Jesus. Please check it, sir. Check it. Check it right now. Check it. It's Check getting it. better. Yes. And pain. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling you will better. be perfected in the name of Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Give Jesus praise. Praise the Lord. For the past two weeks now, I've been having ear pain. Ear it's pain. A, it's an attack. Okay. I have cold. I have kata. So, this thing blocked my ear. I don't used to hear very well. So, now, I'm, I'm okay. Completely. Yes. Madam, what the Lord is bringing increase for you. I'm seeing attack. I'm seeing a serious attack. Your money has gone down. Yes. Because this, this I'm seeing this has to do with, yes. I don't know if you sell hair or you are doing I, something. I have salon in center. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it's like an attack. This thing yes, has gone down. People are not even coming the way it used to be before yes. again. Is that true? Yes. The Lord is saying, I should tell you in this miracle service, a restoration comes for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the restoration comes for you right now. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. God is visiting situations right now. Visiting situations right now. Go ahead, please, quickly. I want to thank God because I've been having serious pain on my neck at times. Neck pain? Yes, okay, the lady I said with neck pain, how long? It's like, it's for months. It comes and goes. At times, it's like my entire head, my ear, it affects my ear, but... When you were speaking, I, I just turned and I felt it was gone. You felt it was gone. Hallelujah. Now, there is a lady, while they were giving a testimony, there's a lady here. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came upon you right now. It's a miracle that God has given you. Who is that person? Come out. You are in this row. Where are you? Come. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came over you. Come. Come. This night, God is bringing restoration. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your anointing bring restoration for her right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tremendous restoration. I'm seeing a crown being put upon your head. Are you together? Are you together? I'm seeing a crown. Oh, you felt the same thing. I'm praying for you. Madam, the Lord is averting CS. The Lord is averting CS because, you see, the anointing is on you. The Lord is averting CS. I'm seeing a spirit standing by the theater. And I'm seeing that this is even supposed to destroy this baby. That they say this baby comes out and is affected. But the anointing of the spirit is upon you right now as I'm speaking. And I release the power of God right now. Let that demonic substance out of her. Now. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere Right now Is your family here? Is the time for the visitation? Where is our family? Please come There is a whole deliverance for a family that God is doing here right now I see that family Please where is our daddy and our mommy? Please appreciate them as they come enough of the nonsense of darkness please celebrate them as they come miracles everywhere miracles everywhere lord we see miracles everywhere right now right now hallelujah sir i'm looking at you and i'm seeing a cause this is what i'm seeing as I look at you, the Lord is showing me this is a cause. Number one, it has tied down your finances completely down. This thing is so embarrassing, it has tied down everything. I don't know who is it in your family that has dreams. I see dreams of someone chasing somebody. I don't know which of your children or who now, but I'm seeing one of those people have dreams. That's their daughter. You see the power of God touching her. She's their daughter. She's the person with this case I'm mentioning. I'm seeing dreams and it's like people pursuing the person. This thing started right from your family and this is already following this lady because I'm seeing now that the devil wants to put fibroid in her stomach. It's starting now as pain 
I, I remove that fibroid right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I cause that seed of fibroid by the power of the Holy Spirit I'm seeing this woman crying before God in prayer this is what I'm seeing this woman has been a defense I'm seeing her crying before God and saying Lord will you not wipe our tears in this family but tonight we see miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now, right now, right now, right now. We see miracles everywhere. We see miracles, miracles everywhere. We see miracles, miracles everywhere. Right now, right now. Sir, there are many people who can help you. But every time they want to indicate helping you, something just comes and nobody is willing to help you. Because I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing a body but I'm not seeing a face. This thing has covered your glory. Whoever is supposed to help you misunderstands you. And for some reason, they, uh, they don't help again. Hallelujah. Who is Adamu? I'm hearing a name, Adamu. Adamu, I'm hearing something that has to do with Adamu. Adamu, please help, help those on Adamu, I'm hearing Adamu. Who is that? Adamu? Adamu? Huh? Where is your father? The person I'm talking about, his father's name is the one that is Adamu. Huh? What's your father's son name? Adamu. Adamu? Yes. God is giving Adamu a miracle. Yes, sir. Your father, right? Where is he? In Nasarawa State. In Nasarawa State. Yes, sir. Because... This enchantment that is done against your family, enough is enough. It's part of your prayer request, right? Yes, number sir. five, six, uh, number two and three. Yes, sir. Number two and three prayer requests. Yes, sir. Look at it there. Yes, That's sir. it. Number two and number three. That's what you wrote. Lord Read it. Miracle Read it. Miracle in your family. Yes, sir. That's what I'm reading, what you are writing. And God is giving a miracle. Yes, a big miracle to Adam. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now, right now, right now, right now. See miracles. I see miracles everywhere. Lord, we see miracles, miracles everywhere. We see miracles, miracles everywhere. Right now, right now. The Spirit of God is ministering to me. I'm seeing the anointing of the Spirit. I'm looking at a map. And I'm seeing the spirit of God going to Yola. Yola. A miracle is happening in Yola. And it's going to this lady's family. This lady, right? I'm seeing a miracle. But there are two other people. From Yola. From Yola. I see the power of God moving. Two people. From Yola. It will come like a tornado upon you. It's a miracle that God is doing right there. There is a lady's elder sister who has been barren. I'm seeing the number three, three years. Barren, barren, help them. That lady is from Yolan. She's an usher, she's walking. But the spirit of God, I'm seeing is a wicked demon. This is what I'm seeing. That has been oppressing her family. I don't know if she's from Yola or not. But I'm seeing that God is doing a serious miracle. Sir. I'm going to pray for you mommy I will minister to you madam the Lord is saying I should tell you that the crying is over the crying is over right now as I speak the power of God is coming on you the Lord is saying I should tell you the crying is over right now the angel of the Lord is pouring something that looks like oil upon your head pouring it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the anointing of the Holy Spirit Pouring what looks like vials of oil. Now I curse this spirit. I address you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let this family go now. 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 This curse that has tied down the family. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. He said for I will contend with them that contend with you. Right now. The power of God is touching people. I see deliverance. Deliverance. Deliverance deliverance fire lift your hands everybody let's just interrupt this deliverance fire right now it will start touching people at the count of three father the angels of god there are many angels in this place 
bringing deliverance for families at the count of three let that fire come right now one two three receive it right now right now right now right now makaparatata sheketetete bring them out lekete pratata deliverance for families outside i'm seeing the angels of the lord go outside outside the power of god is moving it's like fire coming on families it's like fire it's like fire it's like fire it's like fire we see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere miracles everywhere right now we see miracles everywhere we see miracles miracles everywhere we see miracles miracles everywhere right now hallelujah lift your hands father where are those families you showed me in the place of prayer that from the village now i'm not one who just talks so much about village but this one is from the village i see an attack at the count of three one two three from the village those arrows back to sender shakatata leketata reketatata from the village i see enchantments from the village i see altars i see covens i set them on fire i set them on fire i set them on fire they are calling your names from the village from the village enchantments witchcraft death outside outside fire is falling what fire is falling fire is falling from the village speakings of death enchantments of death Yahweh. 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 The name above all names. Yahweh. We call Yahweh. Yahweh. We call Yahweh. Yahweh. I'm ready to pray for you now i didn't just leave you i need to pray for you my god there is massive deliverance going on in this place my dear lift your hands where you are an angel of the lord is touching you right now right now mama an angel of the lord is touching you he's doing something in your husband's life your husband's life there is a miracle that is happening madam your time for a miracle has come come this woman this woman wearing pink no 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 i mean that one the one turning back yes you madam come your time for a serious visitation has come let's stretch our hands towards daddy bring her be delivered now i curse that spirit go Stretch our hands towards daddy and mommy. Let's pray for them. Father, this plague must stop. I saw a curse. It was looking like a hollow over your head. It follows you everywhere you go and brings bad luck to your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, it's over. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit I announce a new season I announce a new season mommy the spell is broken 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 in the name of Jesus Christ sir I hold your hands in the name of Jesus and I announce to you that it's a new season you will go back and experience dramatic turnaround in the name of Jesus Christ don't think it will come from all the channels you are planning unusual sources of breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you madam I want to pray for do you have a daughter is she here I'm seeing one of your child here where is the person a girl a lady a lady where is she please call her name let her come daughter where are you who is the person she's wearing something like traditional dressing who is that come this has been your desire that God will visit your family right it's been your desire, it's been your prayer yes, sir. that God will visit your family. Yes, sir. And tonight God has chosen to step in. See, it's an awesome thing when the light of God turns to you. Then you know that your situation has come to an end. I mustn't call you. It's not just by word of knowledge. It's not just by word of knowledge. lady is going to vomit something I'm seeing something that looks like a snake moving in her stomach this is like I don't know if it's poison this is something that has been put to this lady I curse that devil I curse you back to hell back to hell from where you came from hallelujah mommy please stand up let me pray for you man you can stand up please I want to pray for you. God is going to bring dramatic breakthrough to your life. Please, I want you to note it. Dramatic breakthrough. It will so surprise you. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let captivity come to an end. In the name of Jesus, captivity comes to an end. I release supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And for you, supernatural breakthrough. Mama, I pray. The Lord told me that the tears have come to an end it's wiping your tears father thank you for your word in the name of Jesus Christ I pray in the name of Jesus Christ I pray in the name of Jesus Christ I pray remember not the former things the Lord says I should tell you in this season he's doing new things he will change the heart of your husband in a way that you never imagined he will do this for his glory the spell of bad luck over your life is broken bad luck there's something about your life that makes people hate you. It's a spirit. And there are people here. Lift your hands, everybody. I'm praying for you. Whatever makes people hate you for no reason, I want you to know that it's not normal. You will see what will happen right now. There are people here. I know that people have those kinds of things. But there are people with those things. It's like an aura on you. As I was ministering to her, the Lord said, minister to the house. Father, where are they? Right now, in the name of Jesus, let the anointing locate them. Inside and outside. That spell of bad luck. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Justina, the Lord is bringing miracles to your family. Miracles to your family. I'm seeing a lady from, is it Oka? Oka, that should be east. I'm, I'm, Oka, is there anyone from like that? I'm seeing a lady. Our minister generally will pray for the sick now, but I just want to flow. Oka, Oka, is there someone like that? Please, if you are like that, you can make your way to the front. The Lord wants me to pray for that family, my dear. You with a white hair tie. That lady, you turning back, lift your hands where you are. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing, but God is destroying an embargo over your life and family. Lord Jesus, I destroy it right now. In the name of Jesus, where you are standing, I destroy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are from there? You are from Oka? Where is that? And 
Anambra State. Anambra State. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. You're also from there? Huh? Make your way to the front. You are from there too. Three of you. Look at me. You cannot be a victim. You and your sisters of the wickedness of people in the village. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hold my hands. Father, it must end. This must end. It must end by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. This is, this is, I'm seeing enchantment. This is, this is witchcraft to produce consistent failure in life. You and your sisters, I pray for you. Father, you are going to visit them in this season. You are going to visit them in this season. In the name of Jesus. I want to minister to you. You are from there too. Come stand. The Lord gave me that word and said to minister to the people. As I lay my hands and minister to you, I want you to know that everything that does not represent God, uh, and everyone pursuing you in your dream and disturbing you, it must end in the name of Jesus Christ. For you, there is, there is, I'm seeing something that looks like a crown in your head. We must remove it because it's not God that put that crown. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ, that devil is a liar. Take it off of her. The Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother, my dear? Huh? Abia State. Abia State. We are going to pray for you. Tell your mother that a deliverance is coming for her. Then a breakthrough. Deliverance first, then breakthrough. For the deliverance, she will see it in a dream. It's like something will be chasing her to catch her, and she will see somebody who will snatch her out. It's a dream connoting deliverance. Father, visit this family. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. A student here huh? yes. we must pray for you so that the spirit that destroys men when they are about to finish huh? in your family we must stop it in the name of Jesus Christ glorify yourself oh God I curse this spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ lift your hands everyone Before I begin to minister to the sick, God is bringing deliverance to families right now. We are going to shout Jesus at the count of three. This is not just to you, but God is stepping into families. Some of you never knew that what is happening physically in your family is as a result of all kinds of things. Devils. Lift your hands, everybody. At the count of three, you shout Jesus at the top of your voice. And the power of God will move mightily in this place. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you step into families and end every oppression and every captivity right now i pray by the power of the holy spirit every family shakatatata, under any demonic siege my goodness the power of god is already touching people right now at the count of three let that shout be like a chord in the spirit one two three be delivered now 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 altars be broken altars be broken over families over families inside and outside and those following online i break it right now every family under any spell every family that's right kappa takata bring them out shakatatata every family under any spell oh you must leave them you must leave them i speak to those spirits hear my voice in the name of jesus there is no hiding place for you you must go you must go you must go it's time for their deliverance you must go hallelujah my goodness god is doing miracles right now god is so help that lady please help them sisters lift your hands i want to pray for just the sisters something remarkable will happen right now remarkable there is a spirit 
that put women in bondage because when one woman is in bondage it can affect a thousand men there are ladies oh my goodness the fire of god will move not small sisters lift your hands lord by fire as the sisters cry that spirit that seraph that follows ladies and causes them visiting them in dreams as you shout jesus my goodness i pray that those fallen spirits that will not let you go that did not keep their original estate they will be judged right now father locate every one of these sisters right now one two shout jesus right now right now right now right now right now those spirits go 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 lift your hands there are people here strange dreams strange dreams in the night you sleep in the night and you have all kinds of strange dreams from men or women or animals coming to sleep with you or people tying your legs and you see what is happening in the day whether you believe it or not is not the issue I want to settle those things right now lift your hands Lord where are these people from the dream realm from the realm of the spirit as you shout the name Jesus anyone under this condition some of you that's what is responsible for masturbation some of you that's what is responsible for pornography some of you that's what is responsible for delay lift your hands father those spirits that use the realm of dreams and visions and manipulate destinies manipulate the stars of your people at the count of three we set them on fire fire comes upon you now many guys will be affected one two three Oh, I bring you deliverance in the name of Jesus. I cause those spirits, causing delay. You must leave now, 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 now. Go, 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 go. That spell of delay must leave. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. I'd like you to pray and cause delay from your life. In the next one minute, open your mouth and say enough is enough. I must move forward. Pray. Please pray. Take it seriously. It's called a miracle service. It's called a miracle service. Pray. Lord, I'm tired of delay. yes 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 prophesy i'm moving forward this is the ninth month by the blood of jesus i'm moving forward i'm moving forward under this anointing hallelujah hallelujah i like you to shout after me Say in the name of Jesus. Every gate and every obstacle standing between me and the next level by the blood of Jesus, I bring those gates down. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Gates of limitations standing before me and my desired heaven 
gates of limitation standing before me in the name of Jesus gates of limitation standing before me and my desired heaven outside make sure you are praying pray you will return with a testimony you are praying under a corporate anointing hallelujah hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus everything that belongs to me and is not yet in my life in this season by the power of faith I command them to manifest open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and pray come on koinonia everything every lifting every glory that belongs to me and has refused to manifest by the power of faith even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not as though they were hallelujah hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus every legal access every claim the devil has over my life over my family by the blood of Jesus I declare that I'm free by the blood of Jesus I command my liberty I declare that the price for my freedom has been paid therefore Satan stay off my life open your mouth and begin to pray stay off my life the price has been paid by the death of Jesus every curse every yoke every spell every enchantment by the blood of Jesus pray Hallelujah. I want you to listen to me carefully. I'm doing this by the Spirit. Listen, many breakthroughs are happening to people just from this simple prayer. I wish that God could open your eyes to see the things that are happening to people. You are, this is not just your normal prayer. You are under a heavy anointing. Listen, human beings have prophetic atmospheres. The ark of God came into the house of Obed Edom and brought him good. Jonah entered a boat and made people to be destroyed. Listen, some of you are good people, but you are carrying a spiritual atmosphere that brings bad luck to you and everybody connected to you that's what prophets sometimes will see and because they don't have discernment they call people witches and wizards they are not witches and wizards they are sincere people but they carry a spiritual climate that everywhere they go it makes certain things to happen do you understand now some of you are sincere people but you are carrying atmospheres that makes everything around your life to fail we are going to pray say after me in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus this is strong prayer this simple prayer you are saying you will see the result instantly I like you to pray and say every atmosphere that I carry that does not come from God and is responsible for bad luck and misfortune in my life tonight I declare 
let that atmosphere change lift your voice and pray seriously lift your voice and pray seriously every negative atmosphere kaparatata pray miracles are happening pray every negative atmosphere pray that brings bad luck I may be a sincere person but it brings repeated misfortunes I challenge it whether ancestral whether territorial I challenge it I change my spiritual climate by the blood of Jesus hallelujah two more prayer points and we'll pray for the sick hallelujah we are going to pray a prayer of restoration do you believe in restoration nothing is ever truly lost it only leaves your presence I like us to pray yeah that's the song everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen one more time Forget about your situation, just prophesy. Just prophesy. You may not know how it will happen. Just prophesy. One more time. Prophesy. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. All the years, all the fortunes, every opportunity, every access that has been lost in my life by the mercy of God, I command them to come back to me. Go ahead and pray. This is a serious prayer point. All the years, all the fortunes, all the opportunities all the access that have passed your life pray like samson pray like hezekiah pray let there be a restoration and i will restore to you the years that the canker worm the palmer worm, the caterpillar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray the last prayer point. Listen. There are spirit entities that challenge and haunt the destiny of people. In the realm of the spirit when jesus was born certain men saw his star from the east and they started following that star and the moment they announced to herod a king is born herod said ah a king he said please find where he is and tell me so that i will come and worship him but his intention was to kill him you are going to pray over your destiny Please take this prayer point seriously. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I declare that my destiny is secured by the blood. Every act of witchcraft that has tied down my destiny right now by the blood of Jesus. Release it now. Pray, pray. Release my destiny. Release my destiny.
my prophetic potential release it release it Hallelujah. Prophesy after me, say in the name of Jesus. This is my year of the rain. It's a new dimension for me. I'm breaking every limitation. Say it again. I'm breaking every limitation. And I declare that in this remaining part of the year, an anointing comes upon my life that causes me to triumph that causes me to excel go ahead and pray it lord is my year of the rain an anointing comes upon my life a speedy walk by the holy ghost a speedy walk of restoration a speedy walk hallelujah we're going to do two things at the same time right now listen if there is any trace of sickness and infirmity in your body it's time for it to die are we together now are we together now please just address these people we're going to have all those people come and line up while that is happening please i beg you if you do not write anything in your prayer request please if you need papers maybe the ushers can pass it we are going to be praying on everybody's request those on facebook some of your loved ones you are permitted to switch off your switch on your phone and tell them please send in your prayer request because god is about to do something right now while you are doing that be praying in tongues everybody be praying in tongues while sick people all those who brought sick people make your way to the front very quickly please very quickly all those trusting god for healings and miracles please just line up Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto you. The devil is a liar. He must let you go tonight. Hallelujah. We don't just lay hands on people. I know that it takes a lot of time. But it's the way God is directing us. It's not just ordinary hand laying. It's a prophetic point of contact. Some of you are coming out for sickness. But the truth about it is that there is an oppression of darkness. Is that the mama with cancer? Okay. No, no problem. No problem. She can come. If she cannot stand, just give her a seat. Let her sit down, please. Those who are weak and cannot stand, please, you can give them a seat so that they don't collapse. The, the woman with cancer, if she, if she cannot come, just I'll minister to her. Everything that was lost. Make sure you are writing your prayer request, please. Everything that was lost. Hallelujah. All of you that are coming out, I want you to know that we are patient enough to minister to us. There are all kinds of ministries. This ministry is like a spiritual factory. It's like a spiritual workshop. It's where we dirty our hands on the job. And as I minister to us, please, I want our hearts to be open. Don't just stand watching the power of God touch people. The moment I lay hands on you and minister to you, I want you to receive. You can go back to your seat. Some of you will be under the anointing. It doesn't matter as i pray for you you don't have to scrunch i will lay hands on everybody it's going to be a quick walk it will take time please when you write your request pass it to the ushers in case there are things listen listen let me teach you how to maximize this prayer point don't just write things carelessly while you are writing be praying in tongues because the spirit of god will bring into your mind bring you into remembrance it may even be a matter that is not your own you heard the story of the gentleman dropped a prayer point and nine months later they are coming with twins 
There is nothing God cannot do. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over your people. There are powers tying down their destinies. But you have put this miracle service as a prophetic platform. Let there be miracles. Go ahead. All of us, we can join praying in tongues while I pray for these people. Occasionally worship team, you will help us. Lord, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this. I don't know, they can't see it on screen. It's not clear. This is a leg that is bent. Father, do a miracle. They didn't fix it well. In the name of Jesus, right now. Let the power of God do a miracle on this leg. In the name of Jesus. Almighty God, you know my Lord. You know my Lord. Out! Now you be God. Almighty God, you know be my Lord. You know be my Lord. You know be my Lord. point number two lord i take full delivery of everything you package uniquely for me tonight lift your voice i will not miss out on anything yeah. Yeah. hallelujah who brought this woman please huh? what's the issue what's wrong Chief. hallelujah we'll soon be rounding up let's just hear no 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 keep us standing what's wrong paralytic. Nice. paralyzed yes. mama can she talk yes mama for how long I Paralyzed. Did. Yes, I went to the house and met she her. She can't walk on her own. She can't walk very well. Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ, I curse this spirit. It's okay. In the name of Jesus. Mama, look at me. In Jesus' name, lift your hand. Lift it. Go. Don't look. At, just lift it. Put it down. Lift it again. Paralyzed hand. Look at this. Look at this. Mama, clear the way for her. In the name of Jesus Christ, walk. Come. Don't hold her. Come. 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 Turn around. Turn around. Walk. Come. Come. Come on. Give Jesus it's praise. Miracles say everywhere. Miracles say everywhere. Paralyze. Miracles say everywhere. of paralysis it never returns to you again in the name of jesus you are the son that brought her are, she's not your mom yes. but you brought her yes. i pray for you may you never lack helpers in your life because you are a young man you are not related to her yet you carried mama out of compassion this miracle is because of you 
I'm laying hands on you and I prophesy to you all the days of your life may help us be around you like this in the name of Jesus Christ for as long as your eyes can see the sun you will find a helper in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you celebrate mama God bless you You're in ministry i want you to come out I, I don't mean you want to do ministry you are actively in ministry come and stand here it's time for you to take fresh fire please if you come out and you are not a minister i will send you back i assure you don't embarrass yourself if you're a minister and you know not just that you sense the call of god please don't embarrass yourself we are going to pray for everybody but if you're a minister come go ahead don't be afraid We're in a season of God's glory. Please listen. We're in a season of God's remarkable grace. It takes signs and wonders. Not just grammar and story. The Bible is not waiting for the explanation of the sons of God. For the manifestation. Please, I'd like you to believe. I'm going to do this very fast. The Lord has instructed me. Immediately after we do that, all visitors, visitors alone. I will not lay hands on you, but I'll pray for you. And then we'll pray for the request, prophesy, and we're out. We'll do all this within the next 10 minutes so that we're done. Father, I pray. It's not by might, it's not by power. Lord, as I lay hands upon your servants, let something new, something divine, my God, I pray, activate the gifts of the Spirit in them. Activate the operations of signs and wonders. Let utterance be given unto them. Let their lives, O oh God, produce results. Results, O oh God. Results. Signs. Wonders. Miracles. By your hand. Take the fire, 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 fresh fire, fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire.
fresh fire fresh fire new levels fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire new dimensions fresh grace my goodness fire is falling fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire fresh grace fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire fresh grace fresh anointing new anointing new dimension gifts of the spirit vision dreams prophecies multiplied graces I prophesy to all of you let it be a new season in the name of Jesus new season new season new season I empower you for a new dimension in the spirit I empower you fresh grace fresh grace please stretch your hands towards the prayer request unto thee that answers prayers shall all flesh come please stretch your hands it's a prophetic instruction God gave us we have seen amazing testimonies if there are still people left please let them come let them drop it very quickly in one minute I'd like you to begin to pray Lord it's time to turn my story around my goodness as we pray miracles will begin to happen to people right in the crowd right in the crowd as I'm touching the request something is happening to you something is happening I'm seeing angels lightning all over all over all over father in the name of Jesus we pray go ahead and pray everyone of miracles happening in the realm of the spirit father turn these requests into testimonies the way I walk on them oh God these problems remain under our feet forever in the name of Jesus Christ under our feet forever in the name of Jesus Christ all our visitors please come out quickly if you're a visitor here Visitor, this is your first time. I 
Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to us last year. He said we should prophesy and pray over the visitors. Some of you have traveled kilometers. You have traveled from different states of this nation. Risking yourself through the night. Please make sure you come. Clear the way for them. You are a visitor. This is your first time you are coming here. Make your way to the front. Let's celebrate them. Hallelujah. You see what I'm saying, people? The number of visitors that troop in every week into Zaria for Koinonia is getting so much. We have to find something to start doing around your regions so that we save some of you transporting yourself. Maybe we'll open a branch of Koinonia in all those places. Maybe we'll come to your village. Hallelujah. But seriously, we are trusting God for instructions for the next level. And I'm sure that very soon he's going to speak. But I perceive that very soon there's going to be a lot of expansion. Because of what God is doing. Hallelujah. Are you glad about that? Let's celebrate Jesus. God has brought you here. Your life will never be the same. Please lift your hands. Father, you have brought these people all the way. Some of them with burdens, some of them coming to catch fire. I stretch my hands towards you. Kaborato shatabaladaba. Nandekele koroto suto prashia. My goodness, I see impartations happening to people. Those of you standing, I'm seeing impartations. It's like rain, rain touching people. That's what I see. These are showers of blessings, showers of miracles. I prophesy to you from tonight. Help them, help them, help them. Help them, please. I prophesy to you. Step into new levels. In the name of Jesus Christ. Step into new dimensions. This is Koinonia. A place of encounter. It's not just the name of a meeting. It's the name and the dimension of the operation of the Spirit. We bless you with hunger for God. We bless you with passion for the things of the Spirit. I'm praying for you. You will go back with such fire. You will go back with such passion you will not recover from. I pray that everything that has not been working in your life, let it be activated tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I welcome all of you. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. We're here every Friday. Um, this is not our usual venue. Our venue is Christ Gospel Church at New Extension. But we thank you for coming. I bless you in the name of Jesus. And I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart and on behalf of everyone in this ministry and the many who are joining us online that you will return with a strange miracle. In the name of Jesus, you will return with a strange miracle. Some of you, even before you get home, your miracles will be waiting for you. Some of you, this night, you will have dreams and encounters and the veil over your eyes will be open. Some of you, this night, God will show you what has been happening in your life. God will show you direction. I see God giving a lot of you direction, direction for the next level. You will hear his voice very accurately. In the vision of the night, in the vision of the night, he will show you in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you. For those of you who have never been here, I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They will have your details outside very quickly and then you come and join us. Those of you who have been here and we have received you, you can just go back to your seat with a blessing. But those of you who have never been here, you've not put down your name, we need your names and details. I want you to make your way here in the name of Jesus. Everybody rise as we receive the last prophecy for the meeting. Now you be God. God, you know be my name. You know be my name. Now him be God. You know be God. You know be Two more times. Now you be God.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow morning we are off to Kogi State. We are going to be tearing down the walls of darkness. Trust God to set that territory free. Pray for us and if you come from Kogi, stand by us and tell and let's trust God to really do something apostolic in that land in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now please, this for me, you always hear me say this. I consider this to be the most important part of the meeting. Because this is where everybody gets to receive the creative power of the spoken word. The creative power of prophecy. This is where the word of God comes into you like a drug. And literally, literally alters you. And so I want you to receive with your heart open. Hallelujah. Please, receive with your heart open. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I pray for you, I want you to receive by shouting a resounding amen. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. I prophesy no more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears, Kapakatata. No more tears in the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted, I prophesy. May a supernatural anointing come upon it. Let it begin to produce extraordinary results. In the name of Jesus Christ. Extraordinary results. I pray for everyone due for promotion. And every of your loved ones due for promotion. In the name of Jesus. We cause the embargo stopping their promotion. And we prophesy promotion. There will be testimonies of promotion. The power of God is touching people. Everyone and every family called jobless. I feel like fire on my hands as I'm about to pray this. Please help them. I feel like fire on my hands. Everyone represented here and every family called jobless. Right now in the name of Jesus, I release an anointing for supernatural jobs. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Help them please. Receive it, receive it. Testimonies of jobs. Testimonies of jobs. Testimonies of jobs. Every delay in your life that has stopped you from entering where you should enter now. Makata kata tata pakata. The anointing that came on Elijah that he guarded his loins and ran. Receive that anointing right now. I cause delay in the name of Jesus. I cause delay in the name of Jesus. Everyone who has vowed that over their dead body for you to rise and your family to rise, I declare that to their shame, my God will lift you before them. My God will lift you before them. My God will lift you before them. Everyone who says, can anything good come out of your life? I prophesy to you, in this season, God will use your life to answer them. God will use your life to answer them. I pray for you in the name that is above all names. Whoever needs to come into your life in this season. No, let's start it this way. Whoever needs to go out of your life this season. In the name of Jesus. If their presence has been causing you pain and setback, 
I break you free from them now. Wrong associations, be free from them now. Wrong relationships, we break it now. Wrong soul ties, we break it now. Wrong connections, we break it now. Wrong fraternities, we break it now. We break it now. We break it now. I command them out of your life. Out of your family. Listen. Some of our parents, the trouble in their life is because they have wrong friends they will never leave. They keep influencing them to make useless decisions. I pray for every family. Any stranger manipulating the destiny of any family through the counsel of Ahitophel, today we send them packing from their homes. Packing from your homes. In the name of Jesus. Until Samuel appeared, the destiny of Saul remained covered. Until Jesus appeared, 12 years of hemorrhage continued. Whoever must appear in your life, Whoever must appear, Magato Topata. You hear me talk of destiny helpers all the time. Your next level comes from God, but through the hands of a destiny helper. From the realm of the spirit, destiny helpers, I call you. From the north, from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, wherever you are, locate God's people come into their lives in the name of Jesus every academic challenge you have tried and done everything you know to do but you need a miracle in the name of Jesus I release my faith upon with you receive academic miracles now 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 we activate angels to faculties angels to departments angels to faculties faculty of art science environmental design medicine engineering administration education we release them now Miracles in the name of Jesus. That favor anointing that makes men run to look for people to bless them. I pray for you. When the favor of God came upon my fever shed, Saul looked for him and blessed him. Receive favor right now unusual favor uncommon favor uncommon favor in the name of jesus before i pray the last prayer point listen if you're here and you've not given your heart to jesus christ please i can't pray this last prayer point without making this sure because i want to pray something dangerous if you're here You've never given your heart to the Lord. Please listen, inside and outside. Or you once gave your heart to Jesus Christ. But for some reason, you see they're already coming out. Follow them. You found out that you need to make your ways right. Please, our time is limited. In one minute, inside and outside, you're welcome. Make your way to the front. God bless you. Bless you. They are coming. Going on here, celebrate them. Don't sit back. Don't sit back. This is a family. This is not all of you. I believe there are still some people outside. Clear the way for them, please. Clear the way. God bless you, sirs. Bless you, sirs. Celebrate them. Jesus is calling you. God bless you, ma. Calling you to give you a new beginning. Please, if they are coming, clear the way for them. So that they don't become discouraged. Motivate them. Clap for them. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Run to Jesus Christ. He will give you a new beginning. If the Holy Spirit is telling you to come out, come out. Don't sit back there. Don't sit back there. Many of you are hearing the nudging of the Spirit. 
he's saying why are you sitting down don't argue with him make your way hallelujah thank you so much for coming out brothers and sisters i want to lead you in a prayer of salvation it's not a poem it's not a special number it's a it's a genuine prayer of dedication god bless you hallelujah lift your right hand high to heaven and say this very passionately please you are not reciting a poem this is not an article you are praying to god this is a prayer that is going to save your soul and redeem you and empower you to be great say lord jesus i believe in you and i love you with all my heart i ask you to forgive me my sins i receive jesus christ into my heart be my lord be my savior from today my past is gone it's a new beginning i receive eternal life into my spirit the old is gone and the new has come in the name of jesus christ i pray for you right now i stretch my hands father these ones have come to make a decision for you i pray that this decision will be permanent they will never backslide no going to the world no going to the flesh i release grace upon you to live the victorious christian life in the name of jesus christ every wrong association every company of wicked and senseless people you will not have any appetite and desire to be close to them again you will love them but you will not associate with them again i receive grace for you to edit your friends wicked and unreasonable people are far from you forever in the name of jesus christ i bless you congratulations in the name of jesus it's a new beginning please follow the gentleman waving his hands and they will have your details will follow you up in the name of jesus Please lift your hands for the last prayer point. I want to pray for the gift of the Spirit to fall upon your life. This is why I said we have to pray for them. Please lift your hands. Just a quick walk in one minute. Some of you have passionately desired certain things. Some of you have had dreams but you cannot understand. God is speaking to you. There are many of you that have longed to hear the voice of God. You are praying and somehow you hear it but there is no clarity and direction. There are some of us that are trusting God for newer levels of the anointing, the gifts of the Spirit. Please lift your hands. In one minute, I'm going to pray. There will be a great impartation upon you. All the gifts of the Spirit, the nine recorded in the Bible and every other one that is available in God. Father, I'm praying right now. As your people shout, I receive. Let there be mighty impartations. There are people here who will carry strange fires strange grace at the count of three shout i receive one two three receive it right now right now right now right now gifts of healing impartations visions 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 prophetic encounters Kaparatata. receive it right now in the name of jesus word of knowledge Word of wisdom, gift of leadership, administration, dreams, visions, entrepreneurship. Every gift available, receive it now, now. Please help that lady so she doesn't injure herself. I pray for you, what you could not do by the gift of the spirit go and begin to do it where you could not enter by this new anointing go and enter nothing dies in your hands in the name of jesus christ celebrate jesus and his name dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget 
to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye